So now we're in a John Deere S-Series combine with a GS3 command center and we want to go over how to access the codes on this display. Now the reason we want to provide you with this information is if you have a malfunction on your machine it's very helpful when you call in for service to have those codes available to give the service manager so that he can give them to the technician to start pointing that technician in the right direction and maybe it helps them bring the right parts when they come out the first time or it might save a trip diagnostic wise so it's really going to speed up the process of getting you back up and running as fast as possible so this is in an S-Series combine as I stated uh, these are also found in some earlier 8R and earlier 9R uh, machines so it really doesn't matter if you're in a 9R machine or an S-Series combine, the process or procedure to find these codes is going to be the same uh, no matter what machine that you're in as long as you've got a GS3 command center. So to get in and find those codes, we'll go over here in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to hit the menu button. And then we're going to be looking for this little green circle with the white eye in it and it says message center next to it. So I click on message center. Now the next thing I'm looking for is I'm looking for the diagnostic book and wrench, which kind of makes sense. We're talking about codes. We're going to go to the diagnostic book. And what the controller is going to do now is it's going to look for all the controllers on the machine and it's going to kind of pull those controllers to see if they have any codes. Now these codes might be active codes that are currently causing a malfunction or they may just be stored codes that was an incident that happened a week ago or a month ago or a day ago depending on when the last time that you actually cleared the codes out. So now it's gone through and pulled all the controllers and here's all my controller names over here on the left side and it says right now that the AYM happens to have a code currently. If I scroll down I see that no other controllers have codes but if they did you would see has codes out here to the right uh, just like it does right now. So we we can click on AYM where it says has codes or we can go up to the top here and we can click on show all and it will show us all the codes from every controller. So I'm going to do that now. Now this might take a few seconds, um, maybe up to 30 seconds or so. Again, that depends on how many controllers actually have codes. To, it's going to kind of be you know, a direct impact on how long it's going to take to load these. A lot of times, again, about 30 seconds is kind of a common time that you're going to see that it takes to pull up all the codes but right now it's again it's pulling all those codes and it's actually going to go in to each one of those controllers and not just identify that it has codes but it's going to identify what those codes are it's going to pull those codes out whether they're stored or active and it's going to put them up on the display so it should be just about done thinking here and once it gets through all the controllers and has them all pulled up uh, it's going to display them here for us to see so there it is the one AYM code that we saw there's the actual code, so it's AYM, and it's 523313.11, and it says active, it says no, so it's not currently causing a malfunction, or it's not currently seeing that code, but it is a code that has happened at some point in the past. So again, you would have a list here of all the codes that could be in that machine, or that have occurred in that machine, and it would be good to take a picture of that with your phone and either email it to the service manager or write them down and have that information available uh, to give the service manager, again, to help get that technician uh, pointed in the right direction and hopefully get you back up and running in a more timely fashion. So that's going to show you how to get to the codes in a GS3 command center, and uh, thank you from Sloan Implement.